very start of the, the game, we start at state 0. And right now we have t equals 0, which is the total return on values. And then we have n equals 0, which is the total number of times we visited the state. So because it's the beginning, so now we're going to expand and have action 1, action 2. Those are the two only actions we can take. And we can get to state 1, state 2. And right now, t equals 0, n equals 0, t equals 0, n equals 0. So now we need to select which node you want to expand. So we use the UCB1 formula here, and because n is 0 for every state, this value, because of this n, is going to be infinity for both states. So since they're both infinity, then we're just going to take it in sequential order, and we're going to expand, or we, we're going to look at state 1 first. And if you recall, if we never visited state 1 in the past before, then we perform a rollout. So we do a rollout to a terminal node. And here, our reward, aka value, is going to come back as 20. So what we do now is we update the re total reward at this point to 20, and then the number of times we visit it to 1. So now this value here is no longer infinity, and this one's to infinity, so we're going to jump over to S2, and then we're going to do a rollout there. Because again, we never visited S2 before. So we'll do another rollout, the terminal node. And here the value equals 10. So we're going to update this to be 10, this to be 1. I'm sorry, this, we should have updated this to 20 earlier and 1 here. Now we've done this, so now there's a total reward of 30. And then the number of times we visit is now 2. Okay. So now we want to see which node has uh, has more value. So we, again, we use the, the formula here, which is for this one would be 20 plus 2 times square root of natural log of 2 divided by 1. And then we use this one is 10 plus 2 the natural log of 2 divided by 1. So these two values are exactly the same so we know off the bat that this one has a higher return value so we are going to choose state one at this point so since um now we visited before and we did a rollout this is our second time here so now we're going to expand this node with its possible actions so now we have a3 Action 4, this will take us to S3, and this will take us to S4. And then again, this will be 0, this will be 0. So again, these two have n equals 0, so their value is infinity right now. So we're just going to take sequential order. And again, we've never been to S3 before at this point, so we're going to do a rollout. The terminal node and here we find that the value equals zero so the value the t here is zero and then the n becomes one and then the n here becomes a two and then the n here So at this point in time, 
the value at being a state one can be calculated by the average value so it should be twenty plus zero divided by two which is the average plus two times ln of um, three divided by the n here which is which is one and then the value of over here is only ten sorry this is state one and this is state two so right now it's just ten plus two times natural log of three divided by two So we notice here that this just equals 10. So this number is actually slightly bigger than this number. So at this point in time, we actually know that, well, we actually, the algorithm says that being in state two is more valuable than being in state one, even though it has a higher return at this given time. The reason being mainly because of this zero averaging out the total rewards. And then once we do the, e the rollout over here, that might change things. But for now, it's the same as this. However, we only visited this node once, but we visited this node twice. So it's encouraging us to look at the sort of working through the nodes that we haven't been through as much yet so we can discover more. So if we were to continue on this process, we will want to roll out this node and then expand it and so on. And that is the beginning of the Monte College research algorithm and the rest of it you can figure out yourself from there. My apologies. Um, we visited this state twice, so this is actually two, and we visit this only once, so this is one. However, this number actually is bigger than this number, so yes, same logic applies at this point in time, S2 is still more valuable than S1.